How Ground Source Heat Pump Works for a School or College. This is an example of a vertical system. Geothermal avoids the need for outdoor equipment, reducing vandalism and liability. This is an example of Richmond Middle School in Richland Hills, Texas. Geothermal systems installed in 1995, and you can see the energy savings ever since that time. This is from Don Penn Consulting. Operating unit inside and heat exchanger loop is underground. It protects the students. Low operating maintenance cost, 25% to 50% less than conventional system. High energy efficiency all year long. Ground source heat pumps are among the quietest ever designed. Geothermal has no flame, no flu, no odors, and no danger of fire, fumes, and a long life. Less space for equipment, more space for classrooms. This is an example of a no roof or ground mounted equipment to be damaged by the hail, roof, leaks, or vandalism. Heat one classroom and cool the other at the same time. Cleaner site and building line without root units on the roof. Increased humidity and indoor air quality control. Natural dehumidification. It's a quote. Ground source heat pumps have the lowest life cycle cost in several cost studies that I've done of heating and air conditioning systems. This is from John Scholar of the Energy Department's Oak Ridge National Laboratory in Tennessee. You can get heating central air conditioning and domestic hot water three important benefits from a single compact unit it's dependable reliable and long service life the ground loop tubing warranties of 50 plus years virtually free domestic hot water it's boilerless towerless operation significantly reduce full-time maintenance staff and eliminate boiler maintenance longer equipment life units are not running at temperature extreme eliminate year-round tower operations that require a lot of expense especially during the colder uh, weather months eliminate chemical and other costs associated with the prevention of scaling and bacterial growth low source energy use and low air pollutant emissions it's a green technology can be an open classroom for students to observe energy use how do you get earth's energy well you start with the sun uh, about 19% is absorbed by the water, vapor, and dust. Another 4% absorbed by the clouds. About 17% is reflected by the clouds. And about 6% reflected by the surface. 46% is absorbed by the ground. The earth is like a solar battery absorbing nearly half of the sun's energy. The ground stays a relatively constant temperature through the seasons, providing a warm source in winter and a cool heat sink in the summer. Earth absorbs almost 50% of all solar energy and remains a nearly constant temperature of 50 degrees Fahrenheit to 70 degrees Fahrenheit underground depending on geographic location. Heating in winter. Water circulating inside a sealed loop absorbs heat from the earth. In the heat pump, refrigerant is compressed to a higher temperature and sent as warm air to your indoor system for distribution throughout your school. Cooling in the summer, the system reverses and expels heat from your school to the cooler earth via the loop system. This heat exchange process is not only natural, but is a truly ingenious and highly efficient way to create a comfortable climate in your school. This is for cooling. You notice it's coming from the earth through the system, and eventually you get uh, your, your, air con your heating cooling coming out of the system. This is an example of heating. Again, the heating is coming from your earth, going through the system, and again, you're going to be getting the heat out of the system. Parts of a ground source heat pump system. Ground loop is called a geo exchange. Uh, closed loop is most used. There is also an open loop. Heat pump uh, is available in water to air heat pumps and available in water to water heat pumps which are referred to as hydronic floor heating. Distribution system, you use your regular ductworks uh, and or hydronic water in the piping in the floor. Installation of ground source heat pumps, uh, you have a loop field, usually five inch boreholes, uh, could be larger, smaller, usually 200 to 400 feet deep, could be deeper, uh, and could be uh, less. Space 15 to 20 feet apart, it's a plastic pipe, uh, with U-bin inserted in a borehole. Then you fill it with a grout filled uh, around the pipe in the borehole. There's the loop feel. The header, all of, all the pipe uh, in the boreholes are connected to a header pipes. And then the header pipes are connected to the ground source heat pump. Ground source loop 
system. Here's an example, vertical bore hose, uh, horizontal trenching, and you see a, a slinky loop system, vertical in a trench, or it could be horizontal in a wide trench. Trenching, uh, horizontal loops with one or more pipes and loops four to five feet deep, or vertical boring, vertical bore hole uh, with one pipe downhole looping back to the surface. You do this in restricted space or directional boring, a horizontal loop that can be under a building. There is a groundwater open loop system. Uh, works if groundwater is available at a reasonable depth and temperature. The groundwater is pumped from the delivery well to the heat pump and from there to the sink well. Lake or pond open loop system. Lake level must be sustainable during dry season and at least deep and large enough to maintain temperature during drought period. And all local codes and regulations regarding groundwater discharge are met. Vertical heat pump within the building, uh, water to air heat pump or air duct heating and cooling, uh, flow controller, constant temperature, circulated water from loop field. Uh, you may want to have a desuper heater for hot water. Horizontal heat pump within the building, there may be several of these within the building. Water to air heat pump for duct heating and cooling. Quiet and outstanding comfort, located next to halls or classrooms. Distribution system, usually uh, regular duct works, uh, warm or cold air are blown through the ducts. As you have zone control uh, and or remote master control system. And again, you have outstanding comfort. Uh, providing warm water distributed in the concrete for floor heating. Uh, you have room zone control. Outstanding comfort. When your feet are warm, your body feels warm too. Requires water to water heat pump. Cost and payback for schools. Here's a quote. In fact, heat pump systems may offer the greatest savings to the owners of commercial buildings where you have a fairly large heating and cooling load. The payback period could be two to three years. This is from John Ludd. How much depends on where your school is located and which ground source heat pump system you use. Cost depends on available contractors who are accredited installers in your area. This is uh, Frisco ISD uh, schools comparison. This is Roach Middle School, uh, uh, 120,000 square feet, and this is showing the in the red area the the the, the well field locations. This is from Don Penn Consulting. Ground source heat pump system research over 200 schools in Missouri that now operate with geothermal heat pumps. The cost per million BTU comparisons with current er energy costs. Uh, natural gas, $17.53. Uh, propane gas, $21.29. Fuel oil, $16.67. Electricity resistance heat was $12.01. Ground source heat pumps was $2.93. This is Birdwell Independent School District comparison 2000 and 2001. As you can see uh, the uh, square footage cost uh, for those that are ground source heat pumps are less. And here again we see the Birdwell Schools comparison year 2001 installation cost. These are the geothermal systems that was installed and these are the regular systems that were installed. A few comments. This is Fed High School in Fed Missouri uh, that has a ground source heat pump. Uh, another quote, uh, this is Alamance High School, Middle School, New York, showed a $81,230 per year savings after installing geothermal heat pump systems. Uh, another quote, the ground source heat pump system has reduced Madison Middle School's environmental footprint by 300 tons of carbon dioxide annually and has saved the district fifteen dollars to $20,000 in natural gas costs per year. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, according to the Environmental Protection Agency, Geo-exchange systems are the most efficient, energy efficient, environmentally clean and cost effective space conditioning systems available. Geothermal operates efficiently because the energy source, the sun, has already created the energy and stored it in the earth. So this concludes how a ground source heat pump works for a school or college. More information contact the International Ground Source Heat Pump Association, uh, ICSPA.okstate.edu.